your actions affect so many people. And when a lack of good judgment causes a bad situation, everybody pays for it. It's been almost two years since Chad Lafine lost his life while snowmobiling in Marathon County. He was on a familiar trail but apparently missed a turn and was ejected from his machine. An autopsy showed he was legally drunk. But the fact is, he's dead. And uh, the last stop was a bar. So, you know, we all, he left uh, a wife that found out 10 days before this she was pregnant. And she still, well, she probably will be forever getting over it. Chad's last stop, a bar, is the last stop of many who lose their lives in these accidents. Year after year, the majority of snowmobile fatalities involve alcohol. And after a few years of declining numbers, this year's 15 fatalities is far ahead of the six from last year at this time. Curtis says it's evidence that a dangerous culture still exists. I don't like to say it, but all trails go to bars. We're such an alcohol-oriented society, everything sells beer which means big business for tavern owners. Snowmobilers spend about $250 million in our state each year, according to the Department of Tourism, and food and drink is the number one expense. Yes, it is. It's definitely part of our livelihood. You know, Without it, I don't know what I'd be doing right now. You know? The thing is try to get, you know, we serve food here and we try to serve, you know, snacks and stuff like that, keep the alcohol, alcohol a little bit more absorbed, I guess, you know. But, yep. uh, yeah, basically putting snacks out in a bar helps. Curtis says it's not the bar's responsibility to make sure people are safe on the trails. That responsibility belongs to the individual drivers. And he says for Wisconsin, there's a lot more to lose than dollars. We have a booming business in bars. They adore the economic impact of snowmobiling. Who's got to lose? Is it the people, the family at home that's going to lose? For News Channel 7, I'm Michael Lauber.